Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. Currently, we have a bit of a mixed bag out here. The only indices trading to the upside is the New York Stock Exchange. It's basically flat, but it's up 11 points. The Dow is flat. It's off uh, one point. The S&P is off five. NASDAQ is not flat. It's down eight tenths percent, 122 points. We'll certainly take a look at that um, during the Trader's Edge show. The semis are off a little over 1 percent, 41 points to the downside. Transport's off 78. Gold's off six bucks. Silver, 29 cents. She's trading at 2563. Lights recruit up a buck. 113.39 is its print. Let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We begin by taking a look at the ES Mini. It did form that new profile that we discussed yesterday, the top of which was 45.14. Price right now trading out at 45.08. So it's trading within the profile. It's a bearish structured profile. That says, folks, if you were to see a close below 44.37, the odds increase of a move to the bottom of that profile, and that's down at 43.22. Spot volatilics uh, negated its TD9 count pattern out there. So that may continue to want to move lower, maybe move sideways. That would be somewhat bullish to neutral for the S&P 500. The NQ finding resistance at the top of its weekly profile, and that's at the 14,794 level. It's back inside the daily profile. That's also new profile. It did form yesterday, and the top of that is at 14,690, which price is just below, and the bottom is at 13,991. U.S. dollar index moving higher, also trying to attempt to form a new profile, but running into resistance at its descending trend line. If price could close above that, then we should see a move to 99.47. You've got uh, gold, uh, which yesterday closed above its bullish structure, the center of its bullish structured daily profile. That suggests a move up to 2028, but it's got resistance at 1991, the top of a new weekly profile that is attempting to form. Silver. Trading with inside its daily profile, that range is between 2497 and 2623. Lights Recruit continues to look bullish above the top of its daily box. Natural gas is going to form a TD9 count top today. Now, the cool thing there is you don't have to short it. I'm not saying short it. It says if you do see a close above today's high on Monday, it tells you about a very strong momentum move to the upside. And a 30-year Treasury trading below support. That was, a believe, a TD9 count. That was at 148.05. So closing below that says we should see further lower prices inside of the 30-year Treasury. Folks, thanks so much for joining us on Fantastic Friday. Stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. Drop to start your day. Have a fantastic one, a fantastic weekend. And we'll look again forward to seeing you next week. Otherwise, stay tuned for the Trader Set Show. We'll be up shortly.